Okay, everyone, I made my way back to the place in uh, the new memory lane. I'm gonna fight this robot. See if we're strong enough. Yeah. I don't think I ever actually fought this robot yet, so this will be a pretty new experience, I reckon. Thanks for sure. I hate it when robots do the rolly attack. Wow, look at- Wow, Bracken does no damage to it. Bracken does seriously- What? Oh, that was a happy accident. Bracken does no fucking damage to it! Wow, that's- That's fucking messed up! Okay, the gun, on the other hand, does a hefty amount of damage. So the trick is to fight this guy with uh, the gun. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, let's just heal our energy. Oh, okay. Can we attack with the gun while we're in that mode? I don't really think we can. Not that it matters when he's doing this rolly attack. No, we can't. Ow, <laughs> that backfired. Come on, buddy, come out of your shell. not the worst special attack, because it can only fire in one direction. It's pretty easy to dodge. Oh, <laughs> meant to do the, uh, quick attacks. Okay, another dark attack. That was handy. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, that really trims down his HP. And now he's in red mode. Oh, 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 he can shoot slashes. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, that happened. Perfect, he's down.
he's still down, okay. Okay, now he's out of his red mode. I thought that would be like a permanent power-up of his, but I guess not. He just knocked him out of it. He can still shoot slashes, though, so that's interesting. You need power-up! Okay, the power-up would be extremely handy in this fight because infinite ammo, baby. Yeah, no way he's gonna survive this. No way he's gonna survive this. Man, 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 man. I was pretty worried there because he had extremely high defense to melee attacks. But he's extremely weak to the gun and that ending was just... Was this the best way to finish him? Sadly, the actual boss of this lane is going to be even worse, I can feel. Because that guy was level 120. If I can beat all the monsters, do you think my dad will come back to me? Alessandra? What's she doing here? That'll never happen, though. I'm too sick. Guess I better get used to the fact that I'm never going to see him again. I... I could not bear to see your father die. Lucky him. At least somebody cared about him dying. No one cared about me. Hey. Will, that's not true. Dad never came to visit me in the hospital. It was the same when Mom... No! Will, listen to me! Guess he just didn't care. That's not true. Will, it's not true! We're in the Ding Dong Castle for some reason, though. Which way? Seriously? You're not telling me we can explore this whole freaking building. Okay, maybe we can't. I'm just gonna go down here just to see. Having been rescued from the clutches of the evil wyverns, the pirate princess joined forces with the prince who had rescued her and set out to exact her revenge. I wonder what happened to the pirate princess after that. We'll tell you what happened! She found herself a right nice husband! We're getting married, Tanny! <laughs> you know I'm just bluffing, Evan! Oh, we can go in here! Oh, we're supposed to be in here, because that's where the path is. Come on. Oh, oh, we can fight these guys! I'm fine with that! Fight these uh, good old beginning-of-the-game enemies, the mouse soldiers and the mouse sorceresses. <laughs> They're still weaklings. Nice close-up on her face. Try that, obviously, it won't work. Why do they have that whole map? If we can't. Because, like, that door up there was sealed, so obviously we can't explore this place. Dog folk decided everything on a roll of the dice. The price of food, the punishments that's administered to criminals, all were entrusted to chance. I wonder what happened to the dog people after that. Um, well, hopefully they learn to change their ways. The librarian likes to test those who came to visit her. It would reward those who overcame her trials with the gift of wisdom. Our heroes pass her test with flying colors and gain the knowledge required to save the world. I wonder what happened to the adventurers after that. Will they save the world, of course? We're still finding pebbles after all this. I love how one foot is propped on top of the stairs. That's a nice little graphic. The Queen of the Merfolk used the powers to turn back time and ensure that the number of her subjects never changed. What will happen to the fish people after that? Uh, they're all going to evacuate to my kingdom, I would hope. Otherwise, we're all going to die. What about the Queen, though? Robot technology advanced at a rapid pace, and humans feared for their place at the top of the pecking order. It seemed that a conflict between man and machine was inevitable. What will happen to the robots after that? That's a conflict that didn't really happen, and I'm kind of scared for the future of Broadleaf now. 
The mice hated the cats of the patch and enjoyed nothing more than plotting their downfall. Finally, one day, their trap closed on the unsuspecting Cat King. Well, what happened to the cats after that? Oh, don't worry, they're living in peace with the mice now. Hopefully, things are resolved for the better. Wow, all these stories are so sad. Yeah, but they all end happily, dude. Are those actual stories that Roland reads to his used to read to his son? <laughs> Talk about shocking. Maybe this really is just a dream. Okay, it's a wyvern. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll give Evan some magic. And we go, mites, and we go. Dad, what are you doing here? If you're here, you can't come to my funeral. You're not dead, Will, and you won't die, not while I'm still standing. Not a sickness and not from any missile attack. That's creepy. Why won't you come home, Dad? We're all gone. Me, Mom, everybody. No. I can't come home yet. There, there are things I still have to do here. Save our world. I have to help save this one. Our two worlds are connected. I just need you to wait a little longer, okay? I'm scared, Dad. I know you are. But it's why I'm going to put an end to this nightmare once and for all. What's this? More like Kraken will. Yikes. That was terrible. What is this music? This is different boss music. Not really a dangerous attack. My gun does nothing to him. Uh, my melee attacks do decent damage. Now it's kind of uh, the opposite, where the guns are ineffective, but but melee attacks seem to work all right. But then we gotta keep pulling up the special attacks. Simple to anticipate his attack, so I feel like we can win this, and I just think to myself, I bet. Well, it's simple to anticipate his attacks and pull off a special attack, so that's pretty cool. When it gets into the sky here, that presents a problem. Yikes. Not that much of a problem. I mean, he can actually see where the fire spires are going to appear. And, yeah, they don't really appear in my general vicinity, so it's not so bad.
did roughly 9,000 damage every time we could land one of these attacks. That's pretty good odds in our favor. And now he's just leaving a trail of these things. Okay, we stunned him. That's perfect. We totally stunned him. Alright, can you guys attack him when he's in the air like that? Yes, and we totally stunned him. from there. Whoopsie! Oh, I was lucky enough to get in there, but get the attack. Too early. Yeah, this guy's not really very strong. That was an 8,000. Wow. Yeah, this guy is going down. <laughs> he really did go down. That <laughs> sucker. That was not too bad. That was a pretty easy fight. Of course it's a king. Mm. There's no need to say anything. You're the high pigment of determination, aren't you? Roland Crane, the young president of a young nation, traveling from one place to another, carrying out countless official duties. Young man watches him on television from his sick bed. His name? William Crane, Roland's son. The poor boy has always been prone to illness, and his father is just too busy to visit him very often. And so he sits alone in his room at the hospital, and he passes the time reading storybooks. He loses himself in tales of daring adventure set in strange and fantastical lands, and in doing so, he escapes the confines of the hospital, if only for a little while. Though their world seemed peaceful on the surface, the seeds of war had long been growing underneath. Roland had tried with all his might to stop the inevitable conflict, but in the end, his efforts came to naught. And so, the Day of Reckoning arrived. The President, his son, and his country all were destroyed in a barrage of missiles. And this was only the beginning. The attack plunged their world into yet another war, a war which would end that world entirely. Or at least it would have done, had a certain someone not intervened. 
Alessandra, trapped in that place between worlds, was alerted to Roland's plight. Okay, this makes sense. I don't remember if they explained this in the main... Well, obviously, they didn't explain it in the main game, because we're learning about it now. Though her 2,000 years of darkness had rendered her almost beyond thought, beyond reason, the bright flash of the missile snapped her back to her senses. And turning to seek out the source of this ghastly light, she saw Roland mere moments from his end. What she did next, she did without thinking. Having been born into the ancient age of magic, the casting of the gateway spell came as easily to her as breathing. So she sent forth the portal to transport Roland from his world to her own. Why Roland? Because he was the soulmate of a certain someone. Someone she had once loved, Deloren. Perhaps she even thought it was him. Or perhaps she knew that if he died, so too would her beloved. Regardless, she did all that she was able to do from that place between places. The portal popped into being and Roland was saved. She could not have known for certain where he might arrive when he reached the other side. He could even have appeared in by Deloren's side and together the two of them might have awakened the Horn One. But he did not. He materialized in the kingdom of Ding Dong Dell in the chambers of its young king, Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum. And the appearance of soulmates from other worlds having long since become a rarity there, his connection, his connection to Deloren went unnoticed. As did the reason for his having arrived there some years younger in appearance, so that he might match his soulmate in all respects. Who knows, perhaps it was this return to a younger self which gave him the energy and enthusiasm to make such a success of his visit to that world. But this gets came with a burden, a burden of doubt. What if, having been returned to his self from a time before William was born, he might forget his son entirely? Putting his fears aside, Roland helped to guide Evan on a journey that eventually led them both to Deloren's door. And when the two met at last, the ancient ruler tried to use Roland's feelings for his son and tempt him from the true path. But thanks to Evan, he was cured of any doubt as to what he was fighting for, and soon rediscovered his resolve. Both Deloren and Roland's fates were inextricably tied to the nations they so loved, and with Deloren committed to building a new allegoria, Roland's own realm would surely know new life. Moreover, a great peace in one world would surely also mean a great peace in the other, for though the two places were far apart, their hearts still beat as one. So canonically, the main game is finished. Thank you for clarifying. A lot of people think we're still trying to beat the Horn One. So this cute little thing is made from your determination, huh, Dad? I can't believe you get to go off and have adventures like this. Uh -huh. I know, it's like something out of a fairy tale, right? But it's real, I promise you. It really is like a fairy tale. There are even monsters in it. Nightmares. You're always so busy because you're always helping people, aren't you, Dad? I, I'm proud of you. And I know you'll come back to me when you're done. Of course I will. But I might be a little while yet, okay? Sure, I'll just read a few more storybooks. You'll be back before I know it. The nurses have been giving me all kinds of fun ones. I like the ones where people go on adventures best of all. <laughs> Is that so? Because there's a lot you and I need to catch up on. The empty book. That was yours, wasn't it? All right. Well, I've got one heck of a story to fill it with when I get home. A fantastical adventure set in another world. Wow, I'm looking forward to reading it. Can't wait to learn all about your adventures with Evan and his friends. I just promise you'll... Do your best to keep helping everybody. Welcome back! Welcome back! And you brought another high Pikmin with you, I see. And it seems you found a tale good enough to fill your blank book with, too. <laughs> we can't write it yet, though. We need to know how it ends first. Hoo-hoo! Spoken like a true savior. You don't know how happy it makes me to hear that. And we're at the High Pigment of Determination Retreat. That leaves only one more for us to find. I better get on and give you your final clue. I'm sending... I'm sensing something right here in Evermore, of course. It's not something you notice at first. But if you look hard enough, you'll find it soon enough. 
I can't wait to see what kind of key the final key will be. Uh, 2 million experience. We need to be at level 120. So, we basically need to be strong enough to beat the Pit of 100 Trials. So, <laughs> alright then. And everyone levels up because we deserve it. Not really in the castle, though, is it? Hello. Say, Evan, I've got something for you. Thank you. It's pointless. Hello there. Ah, oh, King Evan, at last, we've been waiting for a chance to speak with you. There's something we would like to discuss, you see, something very important. Well, in that case, we should probably talk at the castle. Why? Hey. What's this about? Great news, Your Majesty! We decided that it is time for us to try to create the legendary equipment! Oh! That's huge news! I mean, that's been your dream for a while now, hasn't it? I'm not sure I've ever actually asked you much about it, though. What exactly makes it legendary? <laughs> Did we not tell you, Your Majesty? You must forgive this foolish oversight. The legend in question originated in Goldpaul. New B, I think perhaps you... I think perhaps you tell it best. Thank you. The story begins with a master craftsman who designed a set of equipment that he named the Divine Silence due to the great comet bestowed upon its wearer during battle. But, ha but having seen how those with ill intent might choose to misuse such items, he devised a trial to ensure that the secret of how to make this equipment would only be passed on to those worthy of it. Only those capable of smiting mighty snickersnarls shall learn the secrets of my crafts, he declared, and trusted all his designs to a fearsome wolf by that name. Okay, so we're gonna fight a dark creature. That craftsman is dead now, but Snickersnarl lives on, awaiting the day when a worthy warrior will appear at last to defeat him and claim the secrets he has guarded for so long. <clears throat> so what you're saying is, in order to fulfill your dream and create the legendary equipment, you need to defeat this wolf? Man! Way between the lines, they want us to go and nominate for a minute. Well, we had not thought to ask quite so bluntly, but... Mm. We'd be happy to. I mean, we've all come this far together. I'll do whatever I can to help make your dream come true. Thank you, Your Majesty. The creature is to be found somewhere in Jack Frost's playground. The icy cold is said to imbue it with great power. The beast is also rumored to only reveal itself to warriors it deems worthy. This would be a problem for us, of course, but not for you, Your Majesty. Yeah. Indeed not. Well, it seems there's little left for us to do, but bid you good luck. We will await your return at the weapon workshop. Okay, we're outside now. Uh, we'll do that in a moment. I mean, I don't mind fighting a dark creature and getting some experience. Okay, he's in that general vicinity. Attend tea kettle from the Sky Pirate Space Forums. Okay. What was that? Oh, oh there's one right here. S Standard of Ebswain Forms. That sounds familiar, yet I can't put my tongue on it. Oh, of course it'd be right in front of the shrine. Because why not? There really was one here in Evermore, but whose memories could it be tied to? There's only one way to find out, I suppose. I better cast Materialize. A China teacup. What? This belongs to... But he was from the future, wasn't he? Ferdinand? Alright. I suppose the only way to find out what this all means is to take a trip down another memory lane. Let's get this back to the conductor. Okay, so they're, they're pretty much confirming that this DLC takes place after the main game. Because Evan does not find out Ferdinand is from the future until after the Horn One is defeated. Okay. 
It's getting annoying how all these other DLCs were saying, Oh, oh, the Horn One is loose, you better defeat the Horn One! Dude, I defeated the Horn One! I defeated the Horn One twice, dude! I'm glad this DLC pre already knows that, yeah, we saved the world already. I didn't check what level this mission was, actually. Not see him right there. Yep, he is a dark creature. Well, we all we we all leveled up, so I think we're good to go. A uh, we might be a little too powerful for this beast. Where did this great Titan Terror spinning from? I don't think he was here last time we came. Wait, you don't think this is Snicker Snarl, do you? The monster fight dude new B were telling us about. This is an epic place to have a battle, just right over the rift. What well, has got them plans for that super duper equipment you mean? But a 70 of water, as 70 icy as anything. Reckon you're right, man. He hasn't forgotten his promise to the craftsman, even though he's been affected by the darkness. Things out of the way, yeah? Come on, let's put the poor dad out of his misery and grab them weapon making secrets. Let's. Tanny, you're the huntsman. You do this. Aye, aye. Your Majesty! And then I think we might be a right too powerful for this beastie. Oi, Bracken, you stole me kill! <laughs> Sorry, Tanny, you were down. I'm kind of in a hurry. Yeah, way to be overpowered. Oh, These must be the plants with legendary equipment. We did it, man. We're, we're finally gonna get to see what all the fuss has been about. Mm. I can't wait. Let's go and get them to fight do a newbie right away. Ah, we are so powerful. It's not not even funny. I, I cannot believe it! The plans for the legendary equipment! I know, it's really exciting, isn't it? Thank you, King Evan. We truly appreciate everything that you've done for us. Newbie and I have been making preparations in your absence. We should be able to begin work on the legendary items immediately. Oh, that reminds me. We have a little something for you, Your Majesty, by way of thanks. If you would be so good as to accompany me to the castle. We had a little spare time while you were looking for the plans. Yes. And so we decided to gather some of the materials we thought we might need. But in our enthusiasm, we gathered too many. We would like you to have these. <laughs> Yummy. Tasty. <laughs> we got a little carried away, as you can see. Thank you. Well, as long as you're sure, very much. And just let me know if there's anything else you need. All right, Fidu, it is time to get to work. It is time to make our dream come true. Hey. Guys, the little bird told me what you're up to, so I came running right away. Do you mind letting me sit in while you work your magic? Right. The little bird was me. He will be a great help to you, I am sure of it. Thank you, and thank you too, Brody. I'm very glad to have you here. You'll be very useful to us, I am sure. Grandfather, I am truly honored. The honor is all mine, Fidu. See all that you have achieved as a craftsperson. This is a source of great pride to me. Nothing pleases me more than the thought of working with my grandson in the service of Evermore. I assume you're willing to give your all for your new kingdom. Of course, Grandfather. And I shall begin by recreating the legendary equipment. Cool, looks like we're all on the same page. Let's do this, guys. 
We will make you a set of equipment truly fit for a king, your majesty. All you need to do is wait a short while. Thank you. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, everyone. And that's the mission. Hey, what's over here? King Evan, before you say anything, I just want to tell you how sorry I am. I made a terrible mistake, and I'll do anything I can to make it up to you. The only reason I went to Nazca was for environmental research reasons. Mm hmm? What? What's that? You're here to tear ships off of me? Oh, well, since I've let the cat out of the bag already, I'd better fess up. I may have kind of, sort of, borrowed the Zipline and taken a little trip to Nazca. Well, we have been sleeping a lot. It makes sense. I promise I'll never do anything that dumb again, but the truth is, I found some interesting stuff there. For a start, I met some Pikmin who gave me this. Of course. Nothing at all irrelevant. So it seems like we're gonna learn some Ferdinand background, or foreground, since Ferdinand doesn't really exist yet. This is it! The final key! This will open the last door for sure! Hmm, a little cup that smells ever so strongly of dreams. Have you any idea where it might have come from, Evan? <laughs> I do! It belongs to someone I always look forward to meeting, although I can't help but worry why it might be him. But there's no time for that now. The nightmares are getting stronger with every moment we waste. We have to get in there and rescue that high Pikmin. This will be our last little saving adventure, eh? Let's go do anything we've got, my lad. Mm. Yes, let's. The last. Yes, yes, of course. The last. Well, I suppose you'd best be off and see what kind of high Pikmin we'll be meeting this time, then, hadn't you? <laughs> Away you go! Off to the magical land of mixed up memories. Which door is it? I have no idea. It's this one, of course it is. I mean, at least look at the opening cutscene. I might call it a night. <laughs> so it was your cup. Hmm. There you are, Evan. It is really you, isn't it? What? Um, I think that depends on what exactly you mean by really. Hmm. I came to find you in your dreams, so some strange monsters attacked me, and I end up lost in this place. Yeah. Who's this, eh? Hello, yours? I'm sorry, can you give us a moment alone? Oh, hi, Mom! Shh! <laughs> this is a place called a memory lane. It's made up of people's thoughts, dreams, and memories, all mixed together. Which means it wasn't just my dream you wandered into this time. Anyway, we're here to try and rescue a little creature called a High Pikmin. Hmm. I'm not sure what one of those is, but thanks. It's good to know a little bit more about this place, at, le at least. Mm. Most people are brought here by their memories, but that can't be true of you. You don't have any memories yet. Right. I told you before that I could send my mind through time, didn't I? I just came to try and speak to you the same way I always do. But it was different this time. Those monsters came and attacked me, and I couldn't escape back to where I'm from. <laughs> I'm starting to get a bit worried, actually. Lucky you showed up when you did. So it's the nightmare's fault, is it? Then you'll be able to go home if we get rid of them all. All right. Don't worry, I'll explain the situation to everyone, and we'll try and get you out of here. Hey. Oh, I've been told I shouldn't interfere too much with the past, so I better not tell your friends who I really am. <laughs> but why don't you call me Dina? Yeah, I'm your friend Dina, okay? Hee mm. <laughs> All right, Dina. Ferdinand. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, so Dina is in the middle of that. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to somebody. This is my friend Dina. Really? Oh, so he was a friend of yours all along. <laughs> Why do I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before? Hmm. I take it your friend has some manner of problem, a problem that must be solved in order to find our high Pikmin. Mm. 
I'm sorry, but I don't know what a high Pikmin is. <laughs> well, just you keep yourself out of danger, laddie. And once we bang the monster head or two together, all will become clear, I'm sure. Seems to be the way of things in these uh, cursed places. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll try not to get in the way. Hmm. What is it about this kid? And the music they're playing is gonna be the music for the dream for the Ferdinand dream, of course. <laughs> Dean is the name I use when I want to go out and play with without people knowing who I really am. <laughs> Does that refer to your actual real life, I guess? <laughs> See how long this place is. Eh, it's pretty long. Um, I guess next time, we'll explore the Ferdinand dream! This should be pretty interesting! <laughs>